In this video, we're going to talk about how to use the choose function in Excel. So here's one way you could use it. Type in equal choose. And the first thing you need to do is choose an index number. It could be one, two, three, four, five. But let's go with two. Next, type in another number. Let's choose multiples of five. So for value one, it's going to have a value of five value 2, 10, the next one 15, 20, 25, and you could keep going if you want to. But let's stop here. So the first value is 5, the second value is 10, the third value is 15. The choose function is going to select one of these values. Can you guess which value it's going to select? Well, the value that it's going to select is based on the index number. And we chose in 2, so it's going to select the second value, which means it's going to select 10. And that's what we get. So let's try another example. If I type in equal, choose, let's say 3, and I'm going to pick multiples of 20. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. It's going to choose the third value in this list. The first one is 20, the second is 40, the third is 60. So it's going to choose 60 out of those five multiples of 20. And so that's how the choose function works. Based on an index number, it chooses an option in the list. Now you might be wondering, what is the point of choosing numbers in the list? Well, in addition to choosing numbers, you can also choose words. For example, let's type in equal choose and let's choose the fourth option so the first word I'm gonna write in is red comma now if you're writing a word you need to put this in quotation marks the second one is gonna be let's choose the color blue and then for the third we'll choose the color yellow and then for the fourth option green and for the fifth option let's say purple I didn't get a chance to finish this. So it's going to choose the fourth option out of the list of these five colors. And we know it's going to be green. So let's try another example. Let's choose the second option out of a list of, let's say, fruits. So apple, let's say orange. mango, let's say pineapple, and finally, let's say uh, watermelon. So it's going to choose the second option, in this case, the word orange. And so that's another way in which you could use the choose option. Now, instead of typing a number yourself, you can put that number, or you can reference it to the value in a cell. So for example, let's say we're going to place some value here. And here we're going to use the choose function. And let's go back. Well, first, let's highlight cell B5. So whatever we put in B5, it's going to adjust uh, the output of the choose function. And let's go back to using uh, these colors, red, let's say orange and then yellow and then we'll go with green and then blue so my index number is based on what I put in in self B5 so if I put in a 1 it's going to give me the first option red if I put in 2, it's going to change, orange. If I put in 4, it's going to output the fourth option, green. And if I put 5, it's going to put blue. And so based on the value that I put in this cell, I can adjust the output of the choose function. Now, there's other things that you can do with the choose function. And it's not just outputting numbers or words, but you can also use the choose function to choose 
a certain mathematical operation or to employ a certain formula. And so let's create an example that will illustrate that. So over here, I'm going to have the operation and the value that corresponds to that operation. So let's say the first operation is addition. We're going to give that a value of 1. And the second one will be subtraction. And so we're going to associate that with a value of 2. And the next one will be, let's say, multiplication. We're going to give that a value of 3. And then after that, we'll say division. And let's give that a value of 4. Now, let's call this number 1. And this will be the second number. And let's pick two numbers. Let's say 25 and 10. Over here, we're going to put the operational value. And over here, we're going to put the calculation. So this in this cell, we're going to put like a number, like 1 for addition, 2 for subtraction, 3 for multiplication, and so forth. And we're going to type the choose function here. So equal, choose, and the value will be reference, or it will be located in cell E7. So let's reference that cell. Now, the first option will be addition, because that's going to be number 1. And so we're going to multiply this, the value in cell E3 by the value in cell F3. So E3, I mean, we're going to add E3 plus F3, because we're dealing with addition for the first option. Now, for the second option, it's going to be subtraction. So E3 minus F3. And then for the third option, it's going to be multiplication, E3 times F3. And for the last one, division, E3 divided by F3, and then close the parentheses. So now we need to put a value. So let's add the two numbers. So we're going to type in a 1 for addition. 25 plus 10 is 35. Now let's do subtraction. So we get to type in 2, and we can see the new output here. 25 minus 10 is 15. Now let's do multiplication. And so we got 25 times 10, that's 250. And finally, division. 25 divided by 10 is 2.5. And so you could use the choose function to select a certain mathematical operation based on the value that you choose in a certain cell. Now chances are, if you want to use the offset function in such a way in a real life application, you probably don't want to put a value such as 4, 3, 2, or 1. But instead, you may want to select addition, subtraction, or multiplication. And so it's much user-friendly. And let's see if we can do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the match function. And if you look at this, the match function returns the relative position of an item in an array that matches a specified value in a specified order. So based on the order, the match position, I mean the match function, will give us the position of an item in a particular array. So like addition, it's going to return a value of 1. Subtraction, a value of 2, based on how we uh, select the array. So I'm going to base my match function on whatever I put in cell A8. And then the lookup array will be starting from addition. I want that to be the first one. So that will be number 1. Division is the last one, so that's number 4. And I'm going to choose exact match. So if I type in, let's say, addition here, the match function will give me a 1. If I type in subtraction, the match function will give me a 2. And so that's what I want. Now, let's adjust what we have here. So here's my match function. It's in cell B8. So I'm going to adjust my choose function. Instead of looking at E8, we're going to look at cell B8. Now, in this location, I want to put the operation. 
such as addition, subtraction, and so forth. Now I'm going to create a drop-down list. So let's highlight this cell, go to data, data validation, under allow, click lists, and then here, you can press that, and let's select these four options, and then press enter, and then OK. So now, I can choose addition, subtraction, and so forth. Now this match function is looking up cell A8, but I want to change that to cell E7. So now, this match function only, it, it looks up whatever is in this value. So if I change this to addition, the match value is 1. And this cell looks at the match value that I have here. So it performs addition. 25 plus 10 is 35. If I want to change to subtraction, it's going to subtract these two numbers. If I want to multiply them, it's going to multiply them. And I could change the two numbers. So let's say if I want to find out what 8 times 12 is. 8 times 12 is 96. Now let's say if I want to subtract 100 by 25. So I go to subtraction, 100 minus 25 is 75. Now let's say I want to divide, let me think of a good number, 156 by 12. So select division, 156 divided by 12 is 13. And so now, using the choose function and the match function, you have created a simple calculator.